Today we're going to learn how to make fairy garden mushrooms. This first step is optional because a lot, a lot of people have this equipment. This is a doming block and a doming punch with a hammer. All you have to do is take your bottle cap and smash it down into the doming block, like I am doing here, until you get the shape that you want. All right, so for this step, I did pull out two different paintbrushes, one a little bit bigger, one smaller. For this step, you, you might want to use a medium-sized one like this one, since it's just priming. It's fine. Got my water, got my plate. I am using just regular white acrylic for this step. So if you have primer, then use that because that's going to cover a lot better. But if you're in a pinch, then you can just use regular white acrylic paint. And you're just going to cover all of your cork. Set that aside. And then take your bottle cap and cover it as well. And then once you have that, just let it sit and dry before you move on to the next step. All right, so the next step you wanna do is make sure your brush is clean and dry. As you can see, I already cleaned mine. And then take the paint that you wanna use for your top. And since this is a base layer, we're just going to Use the same brush and paint it on. You might need to do two layers of this depending on your paint. I think I am good to go with just one layer. So once you get it to your liking, set that aside and let it dry. Clean out your brush, and then move on to the stem. So for the stem, we're actually going to use the rest of the white that we had with the primer. If you used primer, get the acrylic though. But if you had the acrylic, use the rest of it. And I'm grabbing my raw umber. You can use any brown that you want for this step. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take the white and the brown. We're gonna kind of create a gradient on this. So you're gonna start with the brown, you're gonna start at the, on one side. And from now on, we're gonna call this with the brown the bottom. So just kind of feather it up towards the center. And then once you have that, grab some of the white that you had left over or that you just got and feather it down from the top. The reason we're doing this is so we can get that tan color. And just continue to do that to make kind of a gradient. Don't worry about the top or the bottom because we're gonna cover both of those. those aren't gonna be visible. And then if you wanted to retouch the brown, you can do that as well. Just keep going until you get the look and the feel that you want with the colors. You may need to do this as well to get rid of some of the excess brown to get where you want. And then I'm just gonna top off the top here, a little white. And then just keep going until you get the look that you want. And that's where I'm going to end. And then let these, set these aside, let them dry, and then we'll come back for the next step. For this step, you only need black paint, your white paint one more time. And we're going to use the smaller brush for this one. 
So at this point, your white is probably dried out from having to sit with everything drying. Small amount more. And we're gonna start with the top and we're gonna paint our, our circles or our dots. You can do different sizes of these dots if you want. You can do all the same size, it's all up to you. So once you get the your circles or your dots done, let that sit, clean off your brush. and grab your black paint. For this step, this part you don't need a whole lot either because it's for the stripes on the stems and it doesn't take a lot. So what you're going to do is just lightly brush on some stripes, some streaks, and you don't want to make them uniform. Just make them as natural as you can. You could also, if you wanted to, do some grays if you were feeling rambunctious. And then once you get those, let these sit and we will meet you in the next step. So for this step, I want to make sure to point out that you will want to be in a ventilated area next to a window like I am. Make sure you have it open. Um, also to grab a mask as a precaution because you do not want to be breathing in these fumes. If you have a paint on, you can use, uh, you can use something like this, a heavy gel gloss. You could use Mod Podge. And then if you're using a spray on, like I am, just make sure you have your work surface covered with something that you don't care about. Once you have what you need and you have your mask on, your window open, your ventilation, and then we can get started. Make sure to shake your paint if you have the spray kind. And then just cover the whole thing. You don't really have to really concern yourself with the top of the stem but try and get as much as you can with it. And then once you have them together and ready, then let those sit and seal, and then we'll meet you in the next step. For this step, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. So you can either use hot glue for this or what I'm using is E6000, but what you want to do is get your glue ready, get your hot glue warmed up to the point where you can do this, but take your top, take your stem, put your top on your stem and hold it like this. You may want to start by doing this along the top to make sure you get that adhered. But I'm going to do this so I know that it's got adhesion to the top of, since I did the domed, it's gonna be a little bit harder than if you were to keep it flat. Just squeeze it down in there And once you get that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is most likely keep your mushroom upside down like this. If you have the flat top. If you don't have the flat top and you have the domed like mine, then you're gonna to wanna to flip it so it dries like it would be standing up. Just keep an eye on it so because your glue might start running down the stem and you can just adjust it. But let that dry. Now there is the option, if you want to, you can take a couple of loose screws or nails and glue them after this is set 
glue them to the bottom so you have stabilizers when you put it in the dirt. Because otherwise it's just going to be sitting on top of the dirt and there's a chance that they could not get knocked over or something like that. So just put a couple, you could do one, but I'm going to do two and just put more glue around it to uh, secure it a little bit better and then let this dry. With this, you definitely want to try and find a spot where it can sit and dry standing up because if you let it, well, obviously you can't, because if you let it sit on its side, there's a chance that the screws will fall and not adhere correctly. But once that's dry, then you've got your fairy garden mushroom all set to put in your garden this spring and have a cute little decoration.